Mike Hamilton here, Lithia Toyota. I'm just gonna do a quick little video. Um, although I sell Toyota, uh, most of us at our store um, have different vehicles, including myself. And and I'm wearing my Tundra hat, and I love the Tundras, but I'm gonna go over the reasons why back in 2019 when I was leasing, I did not lease a Tundra at the time. I'll be right back. Well, excuse it not being perfectly clean. We are in winter, even though we don't get much rain around here, but off and on it does rain. So I'm into, as you can see, a travel trailer, and I'm also into off-roading. So at the time when I wanted a full-size truck, the only Tundra that would have served my purposes was the, uh, be the 2019, maybe at the time, 2020, TRD Pro Tundra. Accessibility, availability, even then when times were good, was still very tough for that vehicle. And at my store, I would have got, you know, probably a, an MSRP deal. Um, but maybe they would have gave me a little better than that. But uh, right now, it'd be like probably MSRP or, oh, wait, no. Um, and I'm going to be rambling on this video a little bit. And so I think the guys that bought some TRD Pros got 500 over invoice. But this particular Ram Rebel, um, what, what they call package 12, because it's got the 12 inch infotainment, I had about more than $14,000 off from one of my sister's stores. So I did buy from uh, inside the company of uh, Lithia. And well, I didn't buy a lease. I don't, I don't, I believe in leasing and because I like to get new vehicles. But at the time, uh, this had a way, 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 way better leasing option for it as Toyota never incentivizes the TRD pros in any any way and never have and probably never will be. So this one, uh, the biggest reason I would say is it had um, over 14,000 off, 4,000 down, gave me a $505 a month payment. Next option is on the Tundras, we get it at our store. Now, uh, different regions uh, could do remote starts on the older units. I'm not talking about 2022s that have it now, but on the uh, prior to 2022s, if it was a port region or something like that, we, you had no remote start on the vehicle. You double click that button and it gets a uh, remote start. So, and also, uh, Toyota would not provide a wheel like this. This is, I believe, I forget, an inch or two and a half inch lift on these uh, on these Ram Rebels, and uh, and give you a nice uh, quality Goodyear Wrangler tire that's got some pretty decent tread on it. Um, and then also, I'd like just the look of the grill. And at the time, again, I would have been doing like TRD Pro if it was in a price range that I liked, but it looked like it was going to be more like in the mid sevens as far as leasing the vehicle and i didn't want to pay that much extra a month also another feature that i liked a lot um now an option of availability to the uh, pros is this uh, well they're more red inside the new tundras but i like the red interior and i got it's kind of a bit dirty i got an english mastiff and he uh and he sheds a lot so but you didn't have this red it was not available um, the 12 inch infotainment screen I like quite a bit uh, wasn't available to the 19s and now you get that 14 inch infotainment screen um, and Toyota's caught up in those things so uh, one of the nicer features and stuff and then um, I know they did these Tundra boxes and stuff but they're kind of attached to the bed as plastic so I really like these Ram boxes a lot so something that, um, that I uh uh, that, uh, that I really likes. And also this thing had a little better tow capacity for my travel trail, which I don't need that much tow capacity for that trailer, but this thing will tow, um, closer to 12,000 pounds in the old Tundra. And a pro is only something around either 96 or 9,200 pounds because of the suspension it had. Um, but anyways, so part of that reason is the, uh, um, is the off-road capabilities, the tow capacity, I like the infotainment screen. I like the look of the hood. Uh, reliability on this truck is not as good as a Tundra, but it still ranks really high according to Consumer Reports. Some of the things I've disliked about this here 
And it's like, just getting in and out of this, it's already cracked the seats. So it's like faux leather, or whatever they're using, like Toyota does. And um, I haven't seen that happen in, in the, in the uh, Tundras. Um, and then it's just got, it just had more features and things and uh, stuff and equipment and already out of the box. And I'm not the one that wants to go build up a rig and do all those things and stuff. But coming into uh, this next model here, and I'll, and I'll be paying for it too. I'm not going to get as good a deal as I get on this Ram, but I don't, you get, you're not going to get as good a deal on this Ram right now in the current economy we're in too, getting a Ram Rebel in, uh, in the, in the payments and the discounts and all that. That's are gone. So maybe we'll come back when times get better. But now the, the Tundra Pro is caught up. It has the tow capacity. It has the lockers and, it, um, all those things and uh, has that red interior that I want and it has the bigger infotainment it has the Apple CarPlay Android Auto which and I don't think 19 did have that yet for a Tundra so so that was some of the reasons why I went to this vehicle um, versus um, buying a Toyota or leasing a Toyota which I have owned other Toyotas so um, but that's uh, my story and the reason why I'm not currently driving a uh, tundra but when this lease is up uh, around october november hopefully things will get a lot better and i will be uh getting into a tundra again so again on my camelton and as my boss actually i'll say exactly what my boss says he says he goes you sell toyotas to pay for that mo pig well i like this truck and it's been a good truck i've had like virtually no issues with it um the only issues i've had with it i've caused so anyways but uh, very reliable um, and a really good truck. The one thing it does suck on this thing is the gas. The gas has been like absolutely horrific. Um, I'm not even getting uh, 13 miles a gallon on this, but I, I'm a little bit of a lead foot. I don't say super speed, but I'm not easy on the pedal. I'll tell you that. So anyways, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.